All right, so we're gonna start working on the hands, but first we're gonna actually take all of this extra stuff for the arm reference. We're gonna select it, we're gonna give it a name selection set, arm ref, and then we're gonna hide it. So we just wanna hide those elements to again, kinda clean up the viewport, and we're gonna create a couple new planes for modeling the hand. So we've got one for the palm side and one for the back of the hand. So on this view, we're gonna put the back of the hand and then we may or may not actually even need the opposite side of the hand. We probably won't need both, but we're gonna use this to start with. So I'm gonna to go to my material editor. We're gonna drag out a new standard material. We're gonna drag in a new bitmap and then we're gonna pick our hand. So I've got back of the hand open and closed and palm of the hand open and closed. Well, we're gonna actually look and use the back of the hand open. So we're gonna drop that into the diffuse and it's not really a problem to model with the hand with the fingers closed, but when we go to rig it later on, we don't want those fingers tightly pressed together because selecting vertices is gonna become a real challenge. So then we'll take this material and we'll assign it to the selected object and we'll turn on show and viewport. Now, that hand is going to be way out of proportion, and it's also mirrored the wrong way. The thumb is on the back side of the body, where we want the thumb to be on the front side of the body, obviously. So the first thing we need to do, really, is to go down into our modifier list and put on a UVW map, and then use bitmap fit with that same image, so we get our proportions correct. Then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to mirror it on the y-axis, so that our thumb is in the front. Then we want to both move it around and adjust it so that the scale fits the scale of the hand of our character. So without actually knowing exactly where that is right now, I'm gonna to go to a side view. So we're gonna switch this over to left. And I'm gonna use a couple of those simple circle shapes again. Shapes, circle, and then I'll just make one right around the wrist there. Slide it over and I'm watching my front view so I can see where the wrist is. Then I'm gonna shift drag another one out to the tip of the fingers. So all that's gonna do is give me the ability to scale this plane to match the proportion or the basic sizing of the hand in this view. So that's actually pretty close. The wrist is in about the right spot and the tip of the fingers in about the right spot. I would generally say that we're bigger off with a hand that's a little too big than a hand that's a little bit too small, and the wrist is about the right size. Let's scale that down just a little more. So then again, the wrist is about the right size. So now as we move that around a little bit, we're gonna have a hand that does blend into this arm pretty nicely as long as we model it based on this image. That should actually work out pretty well. The wrist is in about the right spot, the protrusion of the thumb compared to the tip of that finger. All right, so next we're gonna actually start our modeling. 